What's going on guys, Bowtie Brem here once again. And today, we're gonna be getting a little wider on the old Bowtie. You may ask, what, Brem, you getting more wheels? No, we're getting some spacers, some hub-centric spacers. Let's dive into it, guys. Alrighty, guys, today we're doing an install and review of some hub-centric two-inch spacers. Um, the company is, I think it's Fly So. It's F L Y C L E on uh, Amazon. You go check them out. Um, so yeah, I got two inch hub centric spacers, and we're gonna get a little wide on the bow tie today. So uh, just by looking at them, these seem like real good quality spacers. Um, I've gotten Amazon brand ones before, but never hub centric ones. Which, if you guys are familiar with spacers or not. When you're getting spacers, you always want to get hub centric if you can. Um, so that's why I got some hub centric ones. Once again, F L Y C L E is the brand. And uh, let's dive into it. Let's get some wideness going on the big old bow tie. Alrighty, guys. So, first thing you're going to want to do here is uh, well, if you don't have access to air tools or impact guns, you're going to have the vehicle on the ground and. Uh, Crack all the lug nuts with your wrench, and then jack your uh, vehicle up. I have air tools and uh, electric impacts, so uh, we don't need to do that. But first, you're going to start off by uh, ripping all the lug nuts off. So take all these existing lug nuts off, and uh, I'll see you when I just take them off. All you got to do is take off your lug nuts. Super simple. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So after you have... Uh, your wheel off, you're gonna to wanna to take all these lug nuts, um, take them off your spacer. Um, very nice smooth threads here, I must say. Um, some of the Amazon, I don't know. Amazon, in my opinion, for truck parts, um, gets a bad rap, but uh, spacer seems good quality so far, and the threads are nice. Um, oh, all right, hang on. Get all these bolts off. Wow, okay, that one's on there, good. Hang on. Let me get this bolt off, actually. Oh! Oh, bad shot, bad shot, bad shot, bad shot, side shot. And I wanted to mention here while I'm doing this, that this is a three quarter inch socket. So that's what size um, your uh, lug nuts are gonna be. Okay, back to the correct cam. A boom, get your last lug nut off. Take your spacer, you got your rotor right here, which uh, we'll be upgrading these quite shortly. Roll it on, make sure it locks in, and uh, put your lug nuts back on. Super simple. One. Two. Three. Just always uh, start them in finger tight um, so you don't accidentally uh, cross thread anything. So once you have them all, all on, all in there, all nice, I just push on it with my thumb or finger, make sure they're all locked in. Everything's in so you won't have any cross threading. Bear with me. All right, once those are all on, what you're going to do here is, let me get, I'm sorry about the camera angle here, guys. Boom, it's gonna tighten them down. Now, one thing I wanna mention is don't go crazy on the Ugga Duggas. If you're using um, an impact, I don't know what the torque rating is. Um, it probably says it on the manual, but uh, yeah, just go easy. You don't overdo your spacers, never wanna do that. So I always just put one on, just like that. I always go too really slow, so it's nice and just, 
you know it's mounted on there good, okay? Now you can tighten them down. Not too many ugga duggas. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's all. That's all. So you got your spacer on. Looking mighty fine, if I do say so myself. Now, uh, now the fun part is, since you guys know, I uh, have far from uh, small tires, is we got to uh, throw the big, we'll call them 36 by 13 inch tires back on. And these are unfortunately quite heavy. I don't have a scale out here. When I get my uh, shop going here, um, I'll have a scale out here to weigh some of the stuff to tell you. But uh, they are heavy. So what I want to do for heavy wheels, um, I put my feet, yeah, I know, I work. Tan line, croc, rock crocs. Put your uh, feet under here, crush your toes for a quick second, and turn. Now, you got it on there, but you got to make sure you guys saw that ring. You got to make sure it's on that ring completely or else you'll, your tires will be out of balance. And that's never good. So you want to feel, make sure that's all on nice. Put your lug nuts back on. Now, uh... I'm putting the spikes back on because I'm going to be taking these off soon. But uh, while I'm here, let me show you what else this Flysol F-L-Y-C-L-E has to offer. Hang on a second. Alrighty. So what I wanted to mention here, guys, is these. They also sent me, in case I wanted to put my uh, center caps back on, some aftermarket lug nuts. Now, these ones are the black and color ones. They have the spline. Um, these feel better quality than the ones that I've had. So they come in, depending on if you have eight lug vehicle, six lug, they come with all your lug nuts. And um, like I said, these are special spline. I think they're seven spline. So it has a socket that fits perfectly on there. Um, good quality socket too. Um, and yeah, you just put them on your truck and... Uh, then you would have be able to put your uh, center caps back on. In my case, because I have the uh, spike. So if you look at them side by side, it's like a nicer version of this. But uh, we have something coming up with the wheels. So we're going to save these for the install for now. Because these are going to be coming off soon. Um, I have another something planned. But yeah, these are great quality. Um, great color. It looks like a powder coated. Nice black. And yeah, they, uh, I wanted to add with these lug nut wise. So the other lug nuts, um, if you have aftermarket wheels, 95% um, of the time, those normal lug nuts that I used to put on the, uh, that came with the spacers, those won't fit on your aftermarket wheels. So if you have aftermarket wheels, um, I definitely recommend the, like I said, these are great lug nuts. Um, no complaints at all. Fit, fit right on your vehicle. Put it on, give it a spin, and you got lug nuts. So yeah, I just want to add that in as a little snippet here. If you guys are looking for spacers and lug nuts, it's your one-stop shop. All right, guys, let me get this wheel on and uh, let's see what kind of stance we're working with here. All righty, guys, I put the fronts on. We are looking quite meaty. This is the stock in the back right there. We zoom in. That versus that. Oh, heck to the yeah. I got the other front done too. That is looking sharp. Very cool. All right, guys. Let's uh let's do the back. PS, look at the look at it. Looking good. Let's get to the back. 
quick side note, how you guys liking the hitch? We'll call it powder coated, the hitch. You go away, it's like a maroon. Give it some light, it's metallic. I know, it looks good. I like it though, to be honest. I like the little hints of red, red, red. Oh, look at the stance versus the back. All right, guys. So one thing I wanted to add too is, uh, you know, I've never done it, but it does come with thread locker. So you put a dot, dab of this on your uh, on the spacers and lug nuts to uh, make sure nothing ever comes out. I've never had any problems with anything loosening up. So I'm personally not going to use it, but... It's there for a peace of mind. If you want to be extra cautious, put some of this on. Good, good call by them. Good call, good call. All right, guys, I'll be back in a few when I get her completely all wide. Woo, we guys. I'm going to have to get you some shots in the morning, but that is looking good. Awesome. All right, now the uh, that they're all on. Let's go for a little driving test and make sure that's the true test. Make sure they're all mint. All righty, guys. I'll see you when I'm in the truck. All righty, guys. Good news. Good news. Drives super straight. That is a good sign, guys. Good sign. So, uh, yeah. And it was good at high speeds. I'm obviously not going fast right now. And there's no one on the roads or anything. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, that's awesome. So uh, let me catch you guys in the morning. But these things, these things, excuse me, are looking awesome. Sweet. Alrighty, guys, I couldn't resist going to the gas station. Very awesome. Awesome. I'm so happy with these. Great quality, look good, no rubbing at all, 35.5 by 13s, three and a half inch lift on two inch spacers, perfect, 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 perfect. You guys remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and take off real fast. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Remember, F-L-Y-C-L-E. I'll leave the link of the spacers and the lug nuts in the description. We'll see you in a couple days, guys.